I'm making a very quick video on how to break apart and relink a chain using a chain rivet extractor or chain tool. The chain is made up of a few parts, these plates on the outside, rollers on the inside and the rivets or pins that push through the centre of each roller. The chain rivet extractor literally pushes this rivet out like so, pushes through the chain and out the other side. So you find whatever tool you have, you make sure the chain is fitted snugly inside. You slowly bring the driving pin against the pin in the chain, making sure that it's nice and central. You then hold the tool steady and turn keep turning until the pin is part way out. So you can see just in here, the pin coming out the other side, but don't push it all the way out. If you need to take the tool off to check, do that first. You want the, the pin to be halfway out like so then you can gently flex the chain this way and it will break like so. It's important that this pin remains out but stuck on the chain because when you want to relink it, it can be very difficult, well, almost impossible to, to push this pin in once it's free. So the reverse process is you re link your chain back up, you bend it in slightly like that, it should pop into place like so and that little bit that was sticking on the inside now is enough to hold the chain in place on your bike while you get the tool come from the other side and it's exactly the same process in reverse chain in the tool, make sure it's snug, bring the rivet in line, just make sure it's nice and central, everything's in place properly. If anything's bent, this can snap the tool or the chain. Then drive it in until that rivet is flush with the outer plate. You can see it sticks out a little bit more on the other side, so you may need to adjust that by going from the other side, sometimes just flexing the chain slightly this way is enough to even it out and the chain should move freely.